2021 Kumbh is happening in Haridwar and the certain unique features of this Kumbh. First of all, out of the various Kumbhs, out of the four Kumbhs rather, this has the longest time span. So we begin somewhere in January and it goes on till the mid of April. Time span is longer. Secondly, the very topography of Haridwar uh, makes it rather difficult to have such an event in Haridwar and uh, it's limited by various factors. One is of course the, 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 the terrain in the sense that uh, you have the Rajaji National Park on one side, you have the railway track very close by, you have of course the Gangaji flowing on one side. So it's limited by these physical barriers and to have an event as big as the Kumbh is, and remember this is not the Earth Kumbh, this is a proper Kumbh, is a challenge. Right now our focus is on executing projects which are of a long term nature, which could be about bridges, which could be about roads, which could be about other infrastructure buildings. So a lot of these projects have already been approved by the empowered committee that's under the chairmanship of uh, respected Chief Secretary Sir. And one of the most ambitious projects in this is the widening of the Neher Patri as they call it, which again is a historic Neher Patri. We'll use it as an alternate route also. At the same time, along with the Kumbh, every year you would notice that Kamal has become a very big challenge for the administration. So this is majorly used every year in Haridwar, which is anyway a city of fairs and melas and snans around the year. So it also adds up to the infrastructure of the city in various ways. The other part that we are focusing on right now is to build the human resources of the Mela establishment. So we are hiring some temporary staff, we are going to go in for other tenders of maybe some expert consultancies, that is in the pipeline. Well it did not come from anywhere, I think social media picked it on its own, but I have been rather benefited by social media because of the tremendous reach that it has, the moulding power it has and the instantaneous sort of reaction that it can create compared to say traditional media or maybe the conventional media and especially in campaigns, especially in probably creating awareness, it works very well. For instance, I was in Haridwar DM for almost one half years. We were lagging in a number of aspects in nutrition for instance and in, for instance in the skewed uh, sex ratio, the bad child sex ratio and we used this uh, very well across social media and it was very well received. People respond also. Often you find that in government what happens is that officers including me are stuck to files and are in a way cut off from reality. Often we would want that our point should go across but because of various things it doesn't happen. But now with social media being there, there is a very good connect with the people which is both ways. They also give their feedback and it works well towards good governance. My major challenge is that uh, the Harki Pedi and the Brahma Kund, which is the so called you can say the core of the snan. Now Kumbh is about various things but primarily Kumbh is also about snans and these are these three major Shai snans that happen in the Haridwar Kumbh and it's a huge task to manage crowd control in those three days uh, whenever the snan happens. What we are planning to do this time is have a integrated uh, city control center which would be say technologically uh, very well endowed, which will be based on a lot of cameras, which will be based on electronic surveillance, other kind of media, other alerts and uh, the tragedy that we have faced in various Kumbhs, not just in Haridwar, but everywhere. You would be noticing that there have been stampedes, if you look at British records, the records of the Mela in that time, we have had accidents and primarily they have been because of two reasons. One is epidemics, uh, maybe outbreaks of cholera and at various times they have been stampedes also. As far as the epidemic thing goes, uh, we have taken care of that adequately in the previous Kumbhs as well by having very sound, say, sanitary facilities, good toilets and things like that. But the crowd control part, that remains a challenge. And the more we use technology in this, I think the more we can have a more, more say, hassle-free, more peaceful Kumbh that way. The two things, actually, one I've noticed as uh, these kind of authorities as HRDAs and various other authorities, we tend to assume and rather believe that we are in a completely regulatory mode and we think of ourselves as regulatory bodies primarily about enforcement, primarily about sanctions 
we forget the larger purpose that in HRDA, the D is for development. And we haven't gone in for major developmental work at all. For instance, if you look in Haridwar, you would be uh, rather disturbed by the fact that we don't have green spaces enough. There has been a tremendous sprawling of these, uh, say, various plots, various colonies everywhere. You look around, there's a tremendous lack of green spaces. People uh, don't find a decent place to probably take evening walks, no decent parks for children. So that would be one of my focus that to get it into the developmental mode, away from the regulatory function that we do have, but that is not the only function. The second part of it is that Haridwar being a religious center, which is of international fame, may be say, said that it is the spiritual capital in many ways of India. But uh, we lack completely in the experiential part of it. In say, for instance, aesthetics of the city, we don't have a good facade policy. We don't have uniformity of color. So these are the kind of things that which require some kind of, I think, uh, a two-way thing with the public of Haridwar also, and some kind of confidence building as, as well, as well, because this it's not something that you would entirely enforce by the spirit of law. It is something that we need to build a consensus about and have a better city. If you're in the thick of things, in the rough and tumble of it, then you actually learn. Uh, in 2017, the Honorable Prime Minister, he held a video conferencing with all the district magistrates of India. Probably for the first time, I remember that some Honorable Prime Minister took such an initiative where all the DNs were being addressed. And uh, he said a very small and very simple thing. He said that, file ki dunya se bahar nikaliye, field ki dunya mein jaiye. Field ki dunya mein rahenge, to file ki dunya aur field ki dunya. Dono hi khud ba khud achhi ho jayenge. And I rather believe in this. Because the stark reality is on the field, of course. And if we probably hold ourselves in these papers, then that's certainly not the reality. Of course, decisions have to be taken on paper. But then what's actually wrong, where the shoe pinches, is in the field. So I would, I would request all my young officers as well, and all the youngsters aspiring for UPSC, that the raw field of the field, raw feel of the field rather, should always be there.